Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 10. In this tutorial we will continue to model this car or put some wheels on it. This is an image of the car with the wheels on it and I'll go to a completely empty layer to start this process. We'll press Shift A to add a mesh object, a circle that needs to be 20 vertices. I'll go to edit mode by pressing tab and then alt right mouse, oh I have to have edge mode on and alt right mouse click or all A to select all of them and then I'll just zoom in a little bit here and then we'll do extrude and S for scale E and S and then this will be the tire and then E and S and I can do this in several small steps here E, S, this is the edge of the rim so this is now the edge of the rim, these three rings here. And then E and S and go down to where the hub ends. Like this, or like the circumference of the hub. And then E and S one last time to just safe the edge of the hub. And then E and S, uh, scale as zero and enter and then alt M and choose at center. Then we're done with that. Now we can separate the tire from the rim. I have loop selected this, alt right mouse click and then P to separate it. Then I want to remove every other pair of faces here. Delete. Uh, this is actually the easiest way to do this. Um, and I change to edge mode. And I select these edges. I'm using the lasso. Select. Then do W and uh, subdivide and two cuts. And then I'll just uh, go around and select these. Like this. Alt Shift. I hold down Alt Shift and right mouse click and then scale, scale it out. And I show you why I'm doing this. That's because the subdivision surface modifier, if you scale it back, you see how, how that works. Like that. And then do the same thing with the inner ring scale. Just as such. Okay. Then we got everything we need to have. I'll change, change to face mode, select everything by pressing A. And then I'll press 1 to look at it from another side, so to speak. And I'll press E for extrude and just extrude it a little bit. And then E for extrude again and the whole way over. And then extrude again like this. So now we have the rim. I'll press A to select everything and do W and uh, shade smooth. And you can see there are some problems with the normals. They'll be apparent if you turn them on that you see them not all are the way they should be. So you press Control N and uh, that looks good. And I'll take the opportunity to add a material slot and I have created a aluminum material and I assign that just to have that done and of course you can always you know assign materials afterwards so that's that part and then we'll start with the tire um, I do want to faces and you can see that the, they're not pointing all at the right so press the pointing inward and I really don't want that so we'll do normals flip normals like that that's how I want them go 
go over to edge mode and select the outer edge and do extrude and scale. So that's the thread pattern pretty much. This is the side. And I will now show you the difference here between um, I want these sides to be you know somewhat bulging because it's a tire it's not just a you know flat surface so to face select alt right now select and then I'll remove those alt shift right right mouse to remove those and then I do a W and subdivide because I intend to have this um, art arching but when I do that it doesn't do much of arching actually so we'll not do that at this time I'll do it a little bit later no no white paint just select everything and uh, we'll we'll be in face mode I can look at it from the top like this and then E for extrude and I'll do this and E there you go and now if I do the same basic thing here I have Alt right now selecting those, and I do the same. Hold down the Shift key to remove those rings, and then I do W, subdivide, and uh, do three cuts, and I'll do smoothness, two. Then you get that effect that I was after. So that worked the way I wanted it. is like that. And now we need to figure out the, the thread pattern and since we have made this circular or this cylindrical object manipulating a thread pattern can be pretty difficult. There are other ways to create thread patterns. No, I'm, I'm just going to use the subdivide, I think, because this is just uh, not... Um, I'll just select this. This is the thread, threads, the surface where the threads will be, and I'll remove these rings. This feels more comfortable for me. I have better control. W, subdivide, and we'll see. I don't have... I don't think I want one, two, a whole lot of thread here. So I think I'll I'll just do this. I'll make some more narrow grooves. because that's as much of a pattern that I really can can afford in this scenario. So these are the grooves in the tire and there's not going to be anything transversal or anything so I'll just do E for extrude and scale uh, and uh, that wasn't any good. Uh, we'll do this again. E scale um, shift C okay that and then E S shift C again there you go see how that turns out Select everything and do W, shade smooth, and add the sub -sur subdivision surface modifier. Okay. Let's 
so um, it's like it, when you press control tab by mistake then you kind of get stuck in that sequence so this looks kind of like a tractor tire like one of those old front tires to a tractor but that's fine um, now I'll just put some rubber material on that I prepared some rubber like that assign that deselect yep that worked can remove those both are selected and we look at this from the top and then I can move it out a little bit because now I know it's just straight under the car so we'll turn on that layer two so now we have another another tire here so and I've just put these tires underneath here uh, we can look at I made some adjustments to the wheel wells uh, and um, in terms of I'm not gonna show that that's just a matter of putting these you know now that's selected as a rotate at X 90 degrees just duplicate it and um, put it in place move that over and uh, now I think this is uh, way too big actually there you go yes it is grab Y and it works really good Look at it from underneath. I think that would be easiest to kind of get a grip there, and just um, can just scale it in all three dimensions a little bit, and then scale it shift Y. And of course, if you So now we can look at this from this angle here and we have some different tire options. A little bit thinner profile there. But this is just to show a very basic way of creating a rim and tire. Nothing fancy, just just you know, put wheels on your, your ride. So that's um it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will come back and fix the glass and lights and front on it on the car. Try to make it look uh, somewhat not realistic but um, complete maybe. So thank you for listening. Subscribe, like, comment, favorite, all the good YouTube things and thanks.